Hey guys, this is Larry with uh, South Bay Re Repair Shop and today I'm just going to show you guys how to strap a pallet. You probably already know how to do it and a lot of people do it different ways. This is the way we do it. It might work for you. I've done it all the different ways and we just ended up doing it by hand. There's all these people who want to do high tech stuff. We don't do that. We don't waste time with it. We just keep it rudimentary and it's pretty simple. So Enrique is going to show you how he does it. It takes like a little steel pipe, I guess, like this. And then we have one of these like strap rollers you can get it from Uline. Some people use like these poly strapping tools which are kind of expensive. We're just going to do it by hand for this. So we're just going to strap three pallets and, I'll, and Enrique's just going to put it through. So we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're just feeding the strap through three pallets right now. They're just half pallets. This way just seems to be more efficient for us. You can do 10 pallets at a time, 20 pallets at a time, rather than one at a time. And uh, then we'll show you how to strap them. Okay, so Enrique is gonna start the tie down process. So you, the first step is to take the tie down and fold it away from you. All right, and then you're gonna grab your, your clip and you're gonna hold it to the right. I like to say like the horns, the best way to think about it is like maybe a bull or the horns of the bull are gonna go to the right and they're gonna be on the top of the clip. So take a clip, fold away from you, push it under and then you're gonna bring it around through the loop on the top. All right, when you take the, the one on the bottom, it's gonna fold the opposite way. So you're gonna go under, making sure that the top end folds back towards you. Take the loop, put it around. Here's where you pull tight. So you take the top of each part, and you're just gonna pull tight until it comes down. That's it. We're just going under the pallets again. We already strapped the one side, and we're gonna just do it again. Remember, the reason we're strapping to a pallet is that nine times out of 10, the trucking companies are gonna take it off the pallet if you don't strap it down on this pallet, and then your box or crate or whatever might get damaged. The reason they take it off, even though you don't want them to, is because they transload, go to other locations, and trucks are different sizes, so they're gonna wanna take it off and jam it on top and save space in their truck. It's to their advantage. So when you strap it like this, it kind of tells them, hey, don't do that. And also make sure that your, your stuff sits in the right upright position and doesn't get damaged. It's just gonna reduce claims and make sure all your stuff going out is in good condition. Again, just taking the horns, keeping them on top, putting the loop through on the back. And you're gonna pull tight. It's good to be like right behind it when you pull tight. If you're from the side of it, you're not gonna get the right leverage, leverage you need. So we'll usually tie like this in about a minute. It usually takes us a minute per, per pallet and box. So it doesn't take too long if you got the hang of it, but do like 20 or 50 of these in a day. So these are the three pallets we strap relatively pretty quick. Uh, this is how we do it. We, we hand tie them ourselves. So I'm curious to know how other people do it. Comment below if you have other ways or if you have questions. And thanks for watching.